Today's video will be all about rainbows. The rainbow is a beautiful natural phenomenon of nature. There are many lessons to be learned from a rainbow. For example, rainbows teach us about the colors of energy. See, I believe we are energy at our core, and utilizing the energy of various colors can be very healing and life transforming. And the colors of the rainbow in particular are highly symbolic. Red symbolizes passion and romance. Red carries the energy of love and confidence. It represents blood flow, which makes this color arousing and highly sexual. Orange symbolizes adventure and spontaneity. Orange carries the energy of creativity and vitality. It's warm and promotes positivity. Yellow symbolizes joy and illumination. Yellow carries the energy of fun and mental stimulation. It's optimistic and inspirational. Green symbolizes growth and balance. Green carries the energy of nature and peace. It represents health and fertility. Blue symbolizes peace and serenity. Blue carries the energy of stability and spiritual realization. It's calm and reserved. Indigo symbolizes intuition and the higher self. Indigo carries the energy of wisdom and focus. It represents our psychic abilities. And finally, violet symbolizes spirituality and transformation. Violet carries the highest vibrational energy of all the colors. It represents imagination and fantasy. It's the liaison between the 3D and the 5D. The rainbow colors teach us the importance of balancing our energy through our chakras. Red represents our root chakra, I am. Orange represents our sacral chakra, I feel. Yellow represents our solar plexus chakra, I do. Green represents our heart chakra, I love. Blue represents our throat chakra. I talk. Indigo represents our third eye chakra. I see. And violet represents our crown chakra. I understand. Rainbows teach us about the importance of hope as a rainbow often appears after the rain. Now, when it comes to the word hope, some believe it's a state of mind that leads to disappointment. Now, I personally see hope as the light at the end of the tunnel. For me, the word hope carries the energy of encouragement. I consider it to be a positive energy that fuels action. And seeing a rainbow reminds me of the importance of being hopeful. Rainbows teach us to believe in the magic of life as portrayed in songs, movies, and children's books. A rainbow is one of the first images a child learns to draw. And as we continue to endure these challenging times, 
Schools are using rainbows as a way of spreading hope through their students' artwork. Rainbows teach us about gender diversity and inclusivity. Rainbows teach us to be proud of who we are and to celebrate what makes us unique. Just like a rainbow does not conform to the sky, we should not conform to what is perceived to be normal. Instead, we should celebrate the colors of our unique energy signature. The rainbow teaches us that when we are authentic to who we are, we are in alignment with our true energy signature. See, all of God's creations are intentionally unique. In other words, no two flowers are the same, no two stones are the same, and no two people are the same. We are all unique right down to our fingerprint. We were created to stand out the way a rainbow stands out in the sky. Don't be afraid to be seen. Rainbows are all around us, not just in the sky. And if we're not paying attention, we'll miss it. See, I believe the rainbow represents the colors of our human experience. It represents the colors of our unique energy signature. And when we allow our aura to shine, we then become unstoppable. I have a couple of quotes I'd like to share with you. The first quote is from an unknown author. A rainbow is a promise of sunshine after rain, of calm after storms, of joy after sadness, of peace after pain, of love after loss. The second quote is from that famous song, Somewhere Over the Rainbow, and it's by E.Y. Harburg. Somewhere over the rainbow, skies are blue, and the dreams that you dare to dream really do come true. This is all I have for today. Thank you so much for spending time with me. And if you have any questions or you'd simply like to connect, feel free to do so through my personal email. I've listed it in the description below. Until next time, be safe and make sure to keep paying attention to your karma. It's our greatest teacher.